What's up, Greg? I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to my channel. This, of course, is another episode of Dan Dan the Mermaid Man. Over the past couple weeks, I've gotten a couple requests from people asking me to review this movie called Scales, Mermaids Are Real. It's a movie that's on Netflix. It came out in 2017. I don't know if it originally came out on Netflix or not. I also, while just Googling it while I'm sitting down to record this video, I realized that the movie apparently has two names. It's called Scales, Mermaids Are Real and also Scale, A Mermaid's Tale. So I don't know which one is the proper title, but since I've had a little bit extra time on my hands recently due to unforeseen events, I've had some extra time to sit down and watch this movie and I gotta say out of all the different movies that give like different lore to mermaids different origin stories and backgrounds and mythology around mermaids this one is by far the worst. I think it might have been kind of popular when it first came out so there's a good chance that some of you have seen it and if you have seen it then you know that this movie's got a really weird ending. It's very strange. There's a lot of stuff that goes totally unexplained. So without further ado, here is my review of Scales Mermaids Are Real. So we get this really beautiful opening credit scene at the beginning of the movie. It's, it's sort of like flipping through an old magical book of pictures of mermaids. They kind of look like they were drawn by a fourth grader, so I'm not sure what's up with that. And then the main character, Siren, gives us a little narration about how she's always dreamed about living in the water. My whole life, I've dreamt of water. Not just being in it, or swimming in it, but living in it, breathing it, tasting it, loving it. Huh. You know, I was sort of with her at first. I was like, yeah, water's pretty cool. I like drinking it. But then she got a little bit too into it, and I was like, huh? She's like, I've always dreamed about water, living in it, tasting it, breathing it, loving it. LOVING THE WATER! <laughs> Loki, Smashing the water, dude. And, spoiler alert, she is a mermaid. We find out later in the movie that she's a mermaid. I know, big twist, right? So it makes sense that she would, like, yearn for the water, I guess. But I don't know, like, I've never heard humans talk about air that way. Mm, let me get a taste of that air. I gotta love that air. Sorry to spoil so early on in the movie that the girl finds out she's a mermaid, but I mean... The movie's called Mermaids Are Real, what did you expect it to be about? She finds out mermaids are real and then just gets to watch them do cool sh for the rest of the movie, but she doesn't get to join in. And yet, in life, I stay pretty far away from it. What does she mean she stayed pretty far away from water? How do you stay far away from water your whole life? I just picture someone like inviting her over to their house and her being like, um, don't you have a pool? And like sinks and stuff. I'm sorry, dude. I try to stay away from that. You try to stay away from water? Yeah, because you never know. I mean, if I get too close to water, I might forget how to act. I might try to breathe it and love it. Oh, ew. But then after her narration, she immediately wakes up, pounds two glasses of water, and then goes to look out the window at the ocean that she lives right next to. So... What happened to staying away from water her whole life? She literally lives at the ocean. Her room literally doesn't even have walls. So she can just look at the ocean all the time. So then we see Siren living her average life. She's got a mom who loves her. She drives her to school. At the beginning of the movie, Siren meets the new kid in town, Adam, who's played by Jack Dylan Grazer. He's actually getting bullied by Elsie Fisher because he's got brittle bones disease. Hey, leave him alone. This isn't your fight, Siren. Get out of here. You know I can scream loud enough? I'll get Principal Strauss out here in a heartbeat. You know I can scream loud enough. My name's Siren, dude. You know I was named after an ambulance, right? And Adam and Siren start to become friends. That's important in the movie. Adam's got brittle bones. Siren is becoming his only friend in this new town that he just moved into. It's a form of osteogenesis imperfecta. It, it just means my bones are very fragile. Like all the time? Every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> what? What a weird question. Yeah, I have this disease that gives me brittle bones. Oh, like... All the time? Nah, they're just brittle in the mornings. Usually they harden around lunchtime, and at night, they get squishy. That day, Siren coincidentally starts to realize that she's got some weird superpowers. While sitting in science class, she's just staring at this water bottle and realizes that she can move the water around with her mind. She's so good at it, in fact, that she starts freaking herself out. Cheers. What is it, Siren? I have to go to the bathroom. Did they add in gasping sounds when she said she has to go to the bathroom? I have to go to the bathroom? Excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? <gasps> what the f- I haven't seen anyone go to the bathroom in 15 years! Why would anyone go to the bathroom? It just doesn't make any sense! Guys, my bones are getting squishy. But she actually doesn't go to the bathroom, she goes home. She's like, I have superpowers, 
I can't go to school anymore. I gotta go home. So we actually find out that Siren's mom that we're seeing in the movie actually isn't her real mom. She was adopted and her real mom died right when Siren was born. The next night is when everything gets real. Siren's friend and her mom and also Siren's adopted mom all sit down to have dinner with Siren to tell her that she's a mermaid. Uh, honey, you're a mermaid. <laughs> so is your birth mother, so am I. Quite a few women in this town, actually. Okay, very funny. And how come I've never spent, like, any time in the water then? I don't know, dude, because you've been avoiding it your whole life for some reason. <laughs> she finds out that she's a mermaid, so is her friend, so is her friend's mom. In fact, a lot of women in town are mermaids. No men, for some reason. But Siren's adopted mom is not a mermaid. Important to note. She's like one of the only women in the movie that's not a mermaid. This would explain why I can control water. You can do what? Control water. That's the mermaid thing, right? This makes you very unique, Siren. If you can do this, it's possible that your blood may also have healing powers. Which would make you very desirable to the hunters. The hunters? So yeah, there's hunters. Apparently there's dudes that just go around killing mermaids so that they can use their blood for healing powers. Because mermaids' blood has healing powers. Their blood can heal like diseases and any injuries. And these hunters want to track the mermaids down so they can use their blood to help people. And their mermaids don't want that. They don't want to help. They're like, ah, hunters, get away from us. We don't want to help. We don't want to help heal anyone. Just leave us be. We just want to play in the sea. I don't understand. Couldn't they just like have blood drives or something and donate blood and send it to hospitals where they can use it to cure any disease? But no, apparently they just want to go do their own thing. Have their fun little mermaid life in the ocean while we walk around up here with our brittle bones. Anyway, Siren doesn't take any of this well. Well, this has been a really great dinner. Thanks for coming over. So she runs off, you know, as girls do, to take a bath. You'll be okay. You'll be okay, my reflection in the mirror. No hunters are gonna come try to kill you, because you're just a reflection in the mirror. They're gonna come and try to kill me. And while she's in the bath, she starts to transform. Ah, ugh, <laughs> gross. So she gets scared of her gross little fish feet and she hops out of the tub, revealing her whole ass fish body tail leg thing. It's really gross. Why the, ugh. Why'd they make the mermaid tail look so gross and fleshy? It's also weird that it doesn't bend at all. It's like a stiff, a stiff mass. Your legs, when you become a mermaid, just become a stiff mass. And yeah, maybe stiff mass is a gross thing to keep saying over and over, but you know what? It is a stiff mass, okay? It kind of just looks like one leg. It's like both of her legs fused together into one big beefy leg. And like in this movie, mermaids don't have like pretty looking tails. They've just got one big beefy leg instead of two little ones. So she's so grossed out by this big stiff mass that she actually falls on the floor and faints. Is my real mom alive? Yes, she lives in the ocean. My mom could come and get me anytime she wants. Ooh, yikes. That's rough. <laughs> so Siren's real mom has actually been alive this whole entire time, but she's a mermaid, so she's been like living in the ocean doing whatever mermaids do. It's not that easy, Siren. She's trying to protect you. I guess Siren's mom wanted to protect her from the hunters, but it seems like that didn't work, did it? Because what do you think is going to happen in this movie? That's right. They're going to find her and they're going to try to kill her. Do you need anything before you go off to Slumberland? Could use some water. Coming right up. But then when the nurse comes back, Siren is gone. The nurse is just left standing there with her hug, kiss, breathe mug. But she escapes from the hospital and she goes to see the only person that she feels like understands her, her friend, Adam. And she goes to throw rocks to get his attention, but instead she's greeted by Adam's creepy dad. You about to throw stones at me? No, sir. At your window. But I decided against it before you came out. And who are you? I'm Siren, Adam's friend. Siren? Well, that's a curious name. You know, he's right. That is a curious name. Why is her name Siren? Because on one hand, Siren is like a mythical mermaid creature. So isn't that kind of like naming a human baby person? But also, don't sirens in mythology like lure sailors to their death? They sing on their rocks in the middle of the ocean and sailors are like, damn, that sounds like a hot mermaid voice. Where can I get me some of that? And then they crash right into the rocks and die. Isn't that the whole thing that sirens do? So it also kind of seems like naming your kid murderer. But as if Adam's dad's not creepy enough, he's got an even creepier friend. You're one of Adam's friends. How old are you? Eleven. Almost twelve. Hmm. Well, happy almost birthday to you. 
Thank you. So this whole scene is pretty weird. Siren comes down and she finds Adam and then Adam's creepy dad and his creepy dad's creepy friend come in and they all talk for a while about what Adam's dad and his creepy friend do and it turns out they kill large fish. Ah, the whaling stick. It's used to kill large fish. They say the ball at the other end is used to call them to shore. Its tip can pierce through tough skin. Some fish. That's a tranquilizer gun. They give off some pretty strong We Kill Mermaid vibes. And I don't know how, but Siren doesn't seem to pick up on any of it. The kind that you might read about. I don't really read a lot of books about fish. So this is the thing that we use to kill the large human-shaped fish. And oh, this is the thing that we use to lure the large human-shaped fish in right before we kill him. And then right when we kill the large human-shaped fish, we all say, Yahoo! We killed that mermaid. That mermaid is dead because of us. And that's basically what we do. Oh, I get it. You guys hunt squids. I like that net in the background, that tiny little net as if that would help in catching mermaids in any way. Ha ha! Got your head. You're not going anywhere now, missy. <laughs> then Adam and Siren go for a walk by themselves and still not getting that Adam's dad kills mermaids. Siren tells Adam that she's a mermaid. I'm a mermaid. Wait! She's reckless, dude. I don't tr I don't think she's got her own best interests in mind. And then to further drive the point home that Adam's dad kills mermaids, Adam takes Siren to his dad's, like, shipping container storage unit thing where he's got a bunch of mermaid-killing memorabilia. He's got, like, a replica of this thing called the whaling stick that's used to call mermaids to shore and then stab them in the face. He's got a whole book about mermaids and what makes them die. Here, there's something I should have given you a long time ago. It's an aerator. It's gonna help you transition from land to sea. The transition to mermaid the first time, it's slow and ugly. Yeah, sure, I was looking for a nicer word, but... <laughs> There's no nice word for ugly. Damn. This movie has some good messages. There's no nice word for ugly. Have you heard of the whaling stick? Where did you hear that? Boy at my school, he had these old books and his dad had a replica of it in his storage locker. When did he move here? I don't know. How many people did he move here with? Why can't we just have a nice moment? Why can't we just have a nice moment? That's such a funny thing to say when your parent gets upset with you. Danny, I gotta be honest, dude. After this, you're grounded. <sighs> Dad! Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You're grounded. Uh, oh my- Dude, why can't we just have a nice moment? Like, one where you don't ground me. A nice moment? What do- what are you talking about? You just lit the house on fire. We're standing next to our burning house because of you. Why can't we just be happy like we used to? Before all this. Before you lit the house on fire? Yes, exactly. Why can't we just have a nice moment? You know what, son? You're... You're right. Why can't we just have a nice moment? You know what? House. We're gonna have a nice moment right now, no matter what. Sir, your daughter, she's still in the building. <sighs> nice moment. Now she got gills. Listen, Siren. So my dad sat me down yesterday, and he told me the stories. And they're not so much stories as history. I know. The next day, Adam meets Siren at school, and he's like, Hey, I just had a talk with my dad last night. It turns out he actually kills mermaids. And Siren's like, That's weird. My mom was saying the same. Believe that? It's your blood, Siren. I want to help you keep it. I can't do anything. My body's changing, and I can't stop it. Well, then what am I supposed to do? My dad, he's hunting you. He just doesn't know it's you yet. All right. I'll do it. I'll make you better, but on my own terms. I don't know why she's got to sound so reluctant when she says it like that. Oh, uh, okay, fine. I'll help you cure your stupid bone thing. It's weird because I kind of agree with the hunters. Like, the mermaids should be using their powers to help people, right? But they're just not. That's so rude. But at the same time, like, I agree with Siren that she, you know, they shouldn't kill her for her blood. But they could, t I mean, they could take a little. All the mermaids can line up and they take a little from each of them. No skin off their bones. No skin off of their stiff mass. Then Siren goes to a meeting with all of the mermaids in town. There are no men. There are no men mermaids. This one's kind of funny. They get there and her mom's like, oh, so glad you're here. Come on, sweetie, let's move up to the front. Okay, let's move to the front. There's lots to talk about. And then they take a step forward, but then so do all the other mermaids. So they're no more in the front than they were back there. So lovely, honey. You've got nothing to be afraid of. Eh, that's, that's debatable. There's literally grown men hunting her down for her blood. So I don't know if I'd say there's nothing to be afraid of. You're officially a mermaid, honey. <laughs> <laughs> We're so 
so proud of you. What's happening? Are they singing? Are they singing? No, sweetie, they're filing their taxes. This is how mermaids file their taxes. Wailing. Each mermaid whale is unique. So this is what mermaids do. Sometimes they just all get together and just wail. You know, sometimes you gotta get together with the homies and just... What are you doing in here, kid? Um, oh, I'm... Yeah, that's what I thought. You're coming with me. Take your hands off! Ugh, jeez, yikes. Adam's dad hangs out with some creepy dudes. I, I'm just gonna say it. He, he hangs out with a couple of weirdos. <laughs> You're coming with me! Ugh. Don't leave this guy alone with... anyone, ever. Take your hands off of him! It's my son. Sorry. Sir, I, I didn't know. Don't mind him. He's harmless. Yeah, I f doubt it. He literally kills mermaids. What do you mean harmless? Don't act like we didn't all just see the murderous rage in this dude's eyes towards a child. He's up to no good. We found out that there's at least one in town. Uh-oh, daddy just found out there's a mermaid in town and she's right about to change into a mermaid. And so Adam, trying to help, tells him that it's Siren. I know who it is. Send a team over to her house. Yes, sir. So the hunters all head over to Siren's house to kidnap her. Oh, sh these hunters don't play around, man. Straight up shooting tranquilizer darts at these girls. So the hunters infiltrate the house, they kidnap Siren's mom, but luckily Adam shows up and helps Siren escape in the nick of time. And Siren manages to escape and make it to the mermaid's safe house, which is a house that they own that's in a safe location. While Siren's doing that, the other mermaids go to the hunter's camp to try to get Siren's mom back. Why don't you just let us talk to Tiffany? See if Siren will give up her blood willingly. Be reasonable. If I was reasonable, I wouldn't be doing this in the first place, now would I? He makes a good point. The man is not reasonable. Take me instead. Let Tiffany go. If there's anyone who could talk the girl into giving up willingly, it's her own mother. I don't know. She's pretty. Kind of like having her around. Yeah, that'll be enough of that. That will absolutely be enough out of you, dude. What? I don't like that guy. That guy's my least favorite guy. He's giving me weird vibes, dude. I know these guys kill people, but I'm really starting to get weird vibes from this guy. I Something's off about him. Oh my, this scene. Okay, so they let the mom go in exchange for this lady. So the mom escapes and she starts to book it home. Let her go. And then this absolute creep is like, actually, not a chance. I'm not gonna let her go. I'm gonna chase her down. And so he just starts booking it down the street, chasing her. <clears throat> Holy sh- What? <laughs> oh my god, that was insane. Just a real quick x-ray shot to show this kid's wrist shattering in 2D. Shattering into flat two-dimensional shards. They went all out on this effects budget, dude. This, they're balling out here. Back at the safe house, Siren is in the pool and she's ready to transform. And this time, it's even grosser. My feet! Oh my- Look at that! <laughs> Why they gotta make it look like that? All, it's all wrinkly and shriveled, like shriveled up, like her legs are just like shrink wrapped together. At least it's bending this time and it's not just like a stiff thing. Uh, look man, I'm all about body positivity. You know, love what you look like no matter what. I'm gonna make an exception for that. If you have that, if you've got fins and they look like that, you gotta get rid of them. I'm sorry. I wish it could be another way, but I can't, I can't support that. I have my tail, it's gorgeous. Okay, thank you. Finally, she looks like an actual mermaid now. She's got real scales and everything. They just appeared out of nowhere. That is so much better. So now that she's transformed, they have to carry her mermaid body from the pool to the ocean in what is probably the least graceful scene ever. I feel like when they pictured this, they thought it was gonna be really majestic, but they really underestimated how cumbersome it is to walk through water, especially when there's like waves hitting you and stuff. Meanwhile, Siren's just splayed out on this gurney, totally helpless. They're just trying to wade through the water. Waves are smacking them, absolutely thwacking and whacking them. There's one close-up shot of Siren just getting wrecked by one. I don't know why they included that, but then, just like the majestic, graceful mermaid she is, she flops into the ocean and swims off. They show her get decked by one last wave for good measure, and then she's off. She goes off into the sea to meet her real mom, and wail at her. Uh-oh, 
the hunters are here. You tell her to come back here! You look like you'll be changing pretty soon, won't you? Yeah, I suppose you'll do. Not a pure breed, but you just have to give me twice as much blood. Wait, what? So, before they said that, like, Siren had special blood that had healing powers because she was a pure breed or whatever, and that's why they needed her, but now it turns out that they can actually use other mermaids, and they just have to use more blood? But they said... But I thought... Nah, dude, that's probably not even true. This dude probably just made that up. He just wants an excuse to kidnap a girl. Dad? Adam? What are you doing here? What are you doing? I don't want this. Son, this is not the time. Look at how you're acting. Who do you think is half human now? Stand down. But finally, Adam manages to convince his dad to have a little bit of humanity and not kidnap all these girls. But then... I want that girl! No! <laughs> This movie is just full of moments where you're just- you're just like, come on, dude, what? Really? Top 10 things you should never find yourself doing. Yelling, I need that girl while throwing a spear at that girl. You gotta make a lot of bad decisions to find yourself in a situation like that. There's a lot of things that need to happen for you to get there. <laughs> so Adam gets all injured, but then Siren's adopted mom has an idea. She takes the whaling stick, which has the thing to call mermaids to shore. Siren and her mom run to shore, and then this happens. My son. But don't, don't touch it. <laughs> what? Is it just me or does it sound like when she puts her hand on his face that it whispers, My, my, boo boo. My, my, boo boo. Don't worry, it'll be alright. My, my, boo boo. So the mermaids all kind of touch each other and they touch Adam and they start wailing and suddenly, Adam wakes up. Adam. <laughs> so. Hold the absolute phone. What? They don't even need their blood to do the healing. They can literally just touch someone and sing whenever and cure anything. They cure his injuries. They also cure his brittle bone disease. He's fine now. I, I feel... I feel different. Just because they sing. How are all mermaids not doctors in this world? They're so selfish, dude. They're so... Shellfish. Sorry. Okay, now I'm on the hunter side. Knowing that they can do this, they don't even have to give their blood. They can just be like, ah, and then you're better. But just when everything seems like it's gonna be all hunky-dory, creepy guy starts clapping. I don't know why his claps sound like they were recorded in a small echoey closet and not on a beach, but he's got something to say. I have spent my whole life studying you things. I am not leaving here without advancing my career. Got a chance. So the mom, she can control water too. So she summons this big wave, and she's like, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you out with this big wave." But obviously, he's like, "So you're gonna kill everyone on the beach? What, what is that gonna do?" But then Siren gets an idea, and let me tell you, it's pretty crazy what she does. Stay away from her. What are you gonna do? Make small little waves? You're forgetting something about yourself. Oh yeah? What's that? Your body's made up 65% water. What? Is that not the most insane thing you've ever seen? Even especially in a kid's movie? The protagonist of this children's movie just said, You're forgetting one thing. You're made up of 65% water. And then she sucks all the water out of this dude's body. We see the whole thing. He's screaming in agony. And then he just melts on the floor, just a pile of clothes. He screams, ah! And then he's dead. He's gone. Don't get me wrong. That dude was weird and he had to go, but like, damn. That was brutal. So mermaids are very reluctant to heal people, but they're, they'll kill anyone at a moment's notice. Okay, you have to teach me that move. And everyone's just cool with it. This girl's like, dang, you gotta teach me that. No one's worried about how confidently she did that. Like, she's definitely done that before. That's not the first time. Also, hold on. If humans are 65% water and she took all the water out of his body, where's all his, like, bones and stuff? And his organs? Where's all the stuff that's not water? It's just, The only thing left is clothes. Is that what scientists mean when they say humans are 65% water? They mean the other 35% is clothes? Like, when you're naked, 
you're 100% water. Which means Siren wants to breathe and love you. The movie ends with Siren going off to live in the ocean. They never explain what they do in the ocean. The only shots you ever see is just them kind of like swimming around and playing and going around seaweed and singing. Like what, I don't know, what do they do? What do they do down there that's so important? Like if they had like a climate change research institute down there, I'd be like, okay, that's a, that's a noble pursuit. But it seems like they just kind of could be on land saving everyone's life. But instead they're like, well, we actually have a game of Marco Polo planned for the rest of time, so I can't cure cancer. Sorry, I know. Well, guys, I don't know what to say. Moral of the story? There's no nice words for ugly. Well, that's the whole movie, so you know what that means. We gotta kick it over to today's sponsor. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Hey, is that some kind of crazy psycho robot man from the future? But don't worry, it's just me. Danny, from the video you just watched. I'm just wearing my favorite premium wireless earbuds, the Raycon E25. Let me tell you, I love these little guys, which is why I'm always delighted to have Raycon sponsor my videos. I wear these bad boys every time I'm listening to music on the go. Lately, since I haven't been going to the gym as much, I've been just going outside for a quick run, you know, staying away from people, putting in my Raycons and just listening to some tunes. What's better than that? Just a boy running as fast as he can away from his problems, listening to some tunes. I love how compact they are. They're small, they're easy to try transport and you don't lose them because they come with this nifty little carrying case which also acts as a charging case. So when you put them in here, they're charging and this lasts for a super long time which is nice. I rarely have to charge the actual case. Wireless earbuds can definitely be expensive but these are some of the best priced wireless earbuds I've ever seen. They started about half the price of other like premium wireless earbuds but that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice on the audio quality. These sound great and the E25s which are their newest model are the best ones yet. They'll give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and a nice compact design that gives you a nice sound isolating fit. You stick these puppies in your ears, you're gonna be blocking off the whole world. All the other, all the other problems, will just drift away and the only ones you'll be left with are the ones inside your head. I personally like these black ones. I think they look sleek and they kind of make me feel like Batman or something. But if you don't like the black, you're in luck because they come in a bunch of other fun colors too. So if you want to get some for yourself or maybe get some for like your friend or your mom as a gift, click the link in the description and you can get 15% off your order. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out Raycon. It really helps when you guys check out our sponsors and I really think that Raycons are great so if you guys end up checking them out, Thank you for that. I appreciate it. And now I am done talking. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone out there is doing well. All right, thank you, Sophia, for turning on my notifications. You are truly Greg. I'll see you guys next time with a really interesting video where I get Lil Pump in my song, but he doesn't want to be there at all. This video is over now. Yeah. Over now. Go find something else to watch. Or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. But you can't stay on this end screen forever no. This video is over now. Yeah. over now So why are you still watching this?